we just hit 111 degrees Fahrenheit, 44 Celsius in the big in the big bold letters. This is crazy. Let's get this fixed. So I'm playing a little FT8 on my G90 here, and you can see we're hitting 115 degrees Fahrenheit, 46 degrees Celsius. Inside the owner's manual, it says 50 is the operating range. I'm starting to get a little, a little worried here. So what I did, you can see a little thing right here. There's a fan here. I talked about this in my last uh, video on how to get the G90 on FT8, where I said, watch your temperatures, folks. This is certainly a low rent option, but I've got a 12 volt computer fan plugged in here. We'll get you a better look at this when we get over to the bench. And I'm gonna plug it into my power pole strip, which turns it on, and it's currently blowing down into my MFJ dummy load chamber, but you can see it's dropping that temperature real fast. Only there was some product that was meant for the G90 that did this for real. Let's get over on the bench and take a look. Here's the beast, here's the culprit. This is the, the Zygu G90, the, the hot, hot, hot radio. The fan cooled it down. It didn't cool it down fast. I was still transmitting because you know I wanted to keep playing. This is the fan I was talking about. This is a Cooler Master. DC 12 volt fan, 0 0.16 amps. It's got three leads coming off of it, red and black for 12 volt power and, and ground. And then this yellow one is a speed controlling thing and I don't have it hooked up. So this thing was running slow. It runs nice and quiet. It, it kind of helps out a little bit, but it's low rent. It's the wrong way to, it's the wrong way to do things. It, it's not a bad way to do things. It's just not, not the best way to do things. So I reached out to my friends over at Radiodity and ask them to send me one of their fan bases. You guys have probably seen the fan bases before, but what you haven't seen is a practical demonstration of what the fan base does. So that's what we're here for today. Let's get this thing here opened up, well packaged so far. What do we have here? We have, that's German, that's German, that's English. Okay, we have English instructions and they're, they're fairly straightforward. I wanna see how far I can get without needing them. I don't think I'm gonna need them for this. Uh, we have clamps to hold it onto the radio and this is, this is all metal stuff. We have some screws and it comes with an Allen key to get the screw work done. And then we have the fan itself. Let's get the box out of the way and scare the dog. So this part right here is actually a temperature sensor. So it's going to determine the temperature of the radio. And before we get it put on the radio, you know what we do here on this channel, we get things taken apart. So let's take it apart. There we go, there's the cover plate off. So we have 12 volt in from your benchtop power supply, and then a bit of a fan controller here and your temperature sensor over here. And there's your, this one's a four wire fan. Fairly straightforward. You can plug this thing in, connect it to your G90, and then not have to mess with the whole works again once you get it plugged in. So. Now that we have seen the inside of it and seen how relatively ingenious it is for, it's a simple task and a simple task gives you a simple and elegant solution. And I like this so far. Let's put it back together. Let's get the radio on here. I'm going to imagine that something has to happen with that ground lug. I don't know what yet, but I'm going to imagine that there's something. Okay, so on the back of the radio, we have a ground screw and it looks like it goes under the ground screw. Yep, there we go. So one more way of securing the radio to the tray here. And then we have a power cord that comes out of the back of the fan base and connects directly into the radio. So now we have our radio plugged in. We don't have to worry about that weird G90 power cord anymore. And we can power it with our G90 power cord or we can power it with our Anderson power poles. And then we have a nice little buckle system. Let's get the buckles installed. Okay, so the side plates are installed. There's a little bit of a spring latch there. So once you get it in, it'll be sprung into place. And now the radio is not going anywhere. And that provides a little bit of tension on the temperature sensor that you see right there. Not bad at all. One extra feature that this has is a bit of a support leg to give it a nice viewing angle when you're working on the radio. There's your support legs. We'll get you some beauty shots of this here in a minute, but I wanna get this thing back into the operating position and see if we can light it on fire or not, hopefully. We have the fan base plugged in. You can see the little foot right here. And we are reading 86 degrees. It didn't cool down much without a fan on it, but we're reading 86 degrees right now. And we're transmitting again. We're down to 85, we're back up to 86. We'll let this run for a bit and see how hot it gets. Okay. 
Okay, now I've got it rearranged a little bit and I have nothing underneath of the fan stand here. So it's getting a little bit more airflow. It's a little bit quieter. Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. You thought I wasn't gonna do that in this video, but I gotcha. All right, so the G90 fan stand, it fits inside of the G90 lunch bag, which is pretty cool. It's a tight fit. I gotta tell you, it's a pretty tight fit, but it still beats not having a nice little portable go bag just for the G90. So I'm gonna count that as a win. The stand itself, it makes a little bit of noise. It's a fan, fans make noise. It kinda, it kinda happens that way. It sucks air in across the cooling fins on the bottom of the radio, blows it down out of the bottom of the stand. That's how it handles the, the airflow to make things happen. We went from 117 degrees in testing down to 85 degrees. It worked out pretty well. You guys saw that under you know full power FT8 work, we were able to get 86, 87, 88 temperature range. I'll take that all day long. The operating range according to the owner's manual is from zero to 50 degrees Celsius. Does that mean that the radio can run 50 degrees Celsius all day long with no problems? Or does that mean when you see 50 degrees Celsius, you start packing up and solving problems? I'm gonna start packing up and solving problems because the fan stand is cheaper than a new radio and it's cheaper than being off the air for a while. There are links in the description down below for where you can get this fan stand. You'll even get yourself a nice little discount over at Radiodity. Radiodity's got fantastic customer support. They write owner's manuals in English. They sent this thing over here for me to take a look at because I asked them to, and that's how nice they are. And they'll be nice to you also. There is another video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.